What is perfume made from? Scented products get their smell from a small amount of concentrated perfume compound. The typical modern commercial perfume compound is made from a combination of natural essential oils, natural extracts, naturally isolated chemicals, synthetic aroma chemicals, speciality bases, and sometimes even animal products. The perfume compound. In toiletry products like soap, shampoo, and shower gel, there will typically be about 1% of compound in the product. That's just two grams or two milliliters of compound in a 200 milliliter bottle. In creams and lotions, there will be even less. In alcoholic colognes, toilet waters, and men's perfumes, there will be three to 8%. And in eau de parfum, extract perfumes between 10% and 25%. With the finest classic couture perfumes using 30% to as much as 50% of compound. What is perfume compound made from? This perfume concentrate or compound can be made up from completely naturally sourced plant materials such as essential oils, resinoids, concretes and absolutes. But more typically to achieve modern effects the compound is made up from a mixture of natural and synthetic materials. They could also use traces of animal products although at Perfumers World we prefer to use non-animal sourced replacements. Natural materials. Natural materials can be obtained from the plant material by several methods. The term essential oils should only be applied to volatile oils obtained by two methods. Expression of the peels of citrus fruits or distillation of plant materials such as flowers, leaves, herbs, spices, twigs, wood, roots, Expression, citrus essential oils. This is a process where the essential oil held in tiny translucent sacs in the peel of citrus fruits is released by squeezing or rasping the skin. Most citrus essential oils nowadays are a byproduct of the juice industry. The essential oils obtained by expression tend to be very thin, highly mobile, and have a light color associated with the fruit they come from. For example, Orange tends to be light orange, and lemon light yellow. The color of most citrus oils will fade over time. With the exception of mandarin and tangerine, they actually get deeper in color as they get older.
natural materials. Natural materials can be obtained from the plant material by several methods. The term essential oils should only be applied to volatile oils obtained by two methods. Expression of the peels of citrus fruits or distillation of plant materials such as flowers, leaves, herbs, spices, twigs, wood, roots. Distillation. This is where the plant material is placed in a still and boiling water or steam ruptures the cells releasing the volatile oil into the steam. The steam is then condensed and collected in a separator where the oil and water separate into levels. The essential oils obtained through distillation tend to be thin, mobile oils, apart from those with a woody character which are thicker and more viscous. They also tend to have light colours as the colour molecules are too large to evaporate with the steam. Exceptions being oils like chamomile and tansy that undergo a chemical change during distillation giving them a dark blue colour. Spice oils, clove and cinnamon and wood oils, patchouli and vetiver. These oils become dark because of iron from the distillation equipment or steel storage drums. Some plant materials do not easily give up their oils to distillation particularly so for many flower oils, where the waxes in the petals melt and solidify in the still, blocking the passage of steam. Plus, the heat of the distillation process can damage the more delicate oils. For these materials, other processes need to be used. Natural materials. Natural materials can be obtained from the plant material by several methods. The term essential oils should only be applied to volatile oils obtained by two methods. Expression of the peels of citrus fruits or distillation of plant materials such as flowers, leaves, herbs, spices, twigs, wood, roots. Dry destructive distillation. Dry or destructive distillation is useful for producing oils with a smoky character such as birch tar oil rectified, cave oil, hawthorn seed oil. They are generally dark colored oils. The raw materials are directly heated in an airtight still without water or air. In the absence of air, a thick smoke is formed which is fed out of the still and condensed into a tar-like substance. The tar is then conventionally water distilled in another step to produce a rectified oil.
Extraction, concrete absolute resonoids extracts. Where plant material does not easily give up its fragrant oils to distillation, the process of using volatile solvents to extract or wash them out may be used. Each plant material is prepared for distillation depending on its specific characteristics. The exact methods are different for each company and kept quite secret. Petals may be picked in the early hours of the night and dropped straight into the extracting solvent. Woody stems and roots may be dried out for a day or two to reduce moisture. Other materials may require slicing or chopping. The prepared material is then placed on grids to stop it caking together and allow the solvent to flow freely through it. Solvent flows into the bottom of the still from outside tanks filling the still and flushing through the material. As the solvent soaks into the plant material the cells rupture and the volatile oil dissolves into the solvent. At the same time, some non-volatile oil also dissolves together with waxes and colour molecules. The mixture of solvent and extracts passes from the top of the still into an extractor, where gentle warming allows the volatile solvent to evaporate, leaving the mixture of volatile and non-volatile oil, waxes and colour. The waxes in the mixture solidify it into a solid dark coloured mass and because of its solid nature is called a concrete. Whilst the concrete is a great way to store the extract for future use, the waxes which are insoluble in alcohol are usually removed by washing the concrete in 100% pure ethanol under gentle warming. The softened waxes release the volatile and non-volatile oil and colour into the alcohol and the waxes fall out of solution. The alcoholic mixture is taken off and then placed into an extractor where gentle heat is used to remove the alcohol by evaporation. The process may be repeated under vacuum to release the final traces of ethanol. The final product is often a viscous liquid or even paste due to the non-volatile oil components and dark coloured. Absolutes are regarded as the strongest aromatic product from the starting material, not strictly essential oils as they are obtained through extraction with volatile hydrocarbon solvents such as hexane which dissolves the volatile oil components plus colour and waxes. The resultant concrete is a solid. The volatile oil is then extracted from the concrete using alcohol. Absolutes are usually darker coloured than essential oils as non-volatile colour is also extracted. Balsams, oleoresins, resins, resinoids and gums. Resins are exudations from trees or shrubs that seep when the plant's bark or outer layers are cut or injured. The exudation mainly consists of terpenes as present in many essential oils. On contact with air, the unstable terpene molecules stick together in a mass in a process called polymerization, making a sticky resin. If the resin also contains fragrant essential oil, then it is called a balsam or oleoresin. As much of the resin, balsam or oleoresin is insoluble in alcohol or other essential oils, the resin is treated with ethanol to extract the soluble part. The insoluble part of the resin is removed and alcohol is evaporated to leave an essential oil soluble resinoid. The term gum is usually used to refer to water soluble exudations. Carbon dioxide extraction.
carbon dioxide is sometimes used to extract perfumery raw materials and is liked as it produces excellent true to the plant quality extracts. CO2's main advantages over hydrocarbon solvents used in regular extraction is that it is non-toxic and non-flammable. It uses cool conditions during extraction and the CO2 evaporates without the necessity of heat or vacuum. CO2 which naturally occurs as a gas or if frozen as a solid, dry ice, can only be useful if kept as a fluid. For CO2 to be a fluid, it has to be kept at very special or critical temperature and pressure conditions that require expensive equipment and control systems. A 100 litre carbon dioxide extraction unit is about 10 times the price of a 5,000 litre hydrocarbon extraction unit. This means that CO2 extracted products, even though highly desired by perfumers for their quality, they're usually much more expensive and availability is limited. Enflorage and maceration. Fresh flowers are pushed onto plates of glass covered with deodorized tallow and fats that are placed into wooden frames. Every two days or so, new blossoms replace spent flowers until the fat is saturated with the fragrant molecules. The mixture of fragrant oil and fat is called a pomade. The fragrant oil is then extracted from this pomade using alcohol, which is then evaporated off to produce an absolute de chassis. This process is useful for flowers which continue to produce fragrance long after they are picked, for example tube rose. The technique is not in general use today as the process is very labor intensive making the products produced very expensive. A similar process of maceration or hot enfleurage where warmed fats are macerated with the flowers was also used. Tinctures. Many materials, instead of being extracted, can be used by steeping in alcohol so that the fragrant part of the material dissolves in the alcohol. While tinctures can be used for many plant materials, one important use is for the preparation of animal products where the dried animal material is left soaking in the alcohol for at least three months before use. These tinctures are then used in small amounts the alcohol used for fine colognes and extract perfumes. The tinctures help to take the harsh edge off the smell of the alcohol.
animal products. Whilst perfumers world chooses not to use them, tiny amounts of animal secretions or glands are sometimes used in perfumery. The material is usually used in the form of tinctures, that is, steeped and matured in alcohol, ideally for three months or more. Ambergris from the blue sperm whale. Ambergris is believed to be produced after the blue sperm whale eats cuttlefish and squid the sharp beaks scratch at the abdominal or intestinal wall, causing it to bleed and produce pus. The blood and pus form in a black mass around the beaks that can be the size of a small pebble or even grow to several kilograms. It is believed, only believed, as no one has actually witnessed it, that at some point the whale either passes the crude ambergris through feces, or if too large, regurgitates it. Hence, Ambergris is sometimes referred to as whale vomit. If the ambergris has just been expelled into the water or found in a whale that has been harvested in the whaling industry, then the ambergris will be black, fishy and unpleasantly fecal smelling. If, however, left naturally to float on the sea for many months, the black congealed blood gets washed away, the sun and sea air dispel the fishy smell and eventually the mass becomes a light grey amber colour has a waxy, grainy texture with a characteristic soft, powdery, velvety, animalic, earthy odour. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is ambergris fluorescence. Civet, from the civet cat. The civet cat is not truly a cat, but has a general cat-like appearance with a somewhat pointed face. The civet cat produces a secretion near its sexual glands and wipes its rear end on trees for marking its territory. Whilst it is possible to harvest the pasty civet secretion from trees, in practice, the cat is caged. The civet cat produces more civet if it is agitated, so the keepers poke it with sticks at frequent intervals. Then the civet paste is scraped from its glands. Natural civet in concentration has a very unpleasant fecal odour, but if highly diluted becomes quite floral, even reminiscent of lily of the valley flowers. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is civet fluorescence. Castorium from the castor beaver. Castorium is the exudate from the castor sacs of the mature Canadian and Siberian beaver. The beaver is regarded as a pest in forestry regions because of its felling of trees to build dams. So at regular intervals, cull orders are issued by the local authorities to destroy a large number of beavers. The castor sacs are removed from the dead beavers and dried and aged for two or more years. The sacs are then soaked in pure ethyl alcohol to produce a tincture. The alcohol can also be evaporated off to produce castorium absolute. Castorium develops a rich natural leather odor, hence its wide use in men's fragrances. It is also used in traces and flavorings. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is castorium fluorescence. Musk, from the Tibetan musk deer. The small, shy deer is native to Tibet and lives in the mountains. The musk pod is an organ situated near the sexual organs of the male deer. The deer is captured and killed and a two-inch diameter pod removed and dried. The pod takes on a leathery appearance with coarse hairs around its top. Inside the pod are tiny grey-black musk grains. The grains are then soaked in ethyl alcohol to produce a tincture. After several months of maturation, the tincture is ready to use. Natural musk has an animalic odor, more so than the synthetic musks, but also has an intense but light powdery earthy sweetness. The deer is now believed to be farmed in India, China and Siberia, but it is very secret as the trading on natural musk is banned in most countries. Perfumer's world's non-animal alternative is musk fluorescence.
Isolates. Isolates used in perfumery are single components, or sometimes mixtures of them, separated from essential oils by three main methods. Fractional distillation, cooling, selective solvents. Isolates. Fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is used to separate citral from lemongrass oil, eugenol from clove oil, according to each component's evaporation characteristics. Essential oils are complex natural mixtures. Each component of a mixture in an essential oil is an aroma chemical with its own unique evaporation characteristic. In perfumery, fractional distillation is used for refining essential oils or separating individual constituents, isolates. The equipment is a combination of a still to warm the material and a long column above the still packed with beads. The beads may be glass, ceramic or other non-reactive material. As the raw material to be fractionated is warmed in the still, the smaller molecules tend to evaporate first and move easily and higher up the column, followed by medium-sized molecules and then even larger molecules. As each material gets away from the warmth of the still, it starts to condense on the beads and dribbles back down to the point at which the warmth once again lifts it up again and again. This lifting and dropping back down slowly puts each component aroma chemical of the essential oil at a different level or band in the column. This is happening simultaneously with each component aroma chemical of the mixture within the essential oil. Having reached as high as they can, they drop back and are warmed again. Now all that has to be done is the column is tapped at each level to remove the target aroma chemicals. Some preparation of the material may be made to facilitate better separation. Geranium oil, for example, is saponified, that is reacted with an alkali to produce a soap prior to fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is also used for refining alcohol. The terms double or triple distilled refer to this process. It is also used in the oil industry for separating the different fractions, parts, of crude oil into butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane, undecane, dodecane, benzene, xylene, paraffins, and heavy oils and greases. The taller the fractionating columns, the better the separation. Hence, oil refineries have columns that may be 30 meters tall. Cooling. Some of the components of essential oils are solids that if the essential oil is chilled will drop out of solution. Then all that needs to be done is to separate the solids from the liquid part. If peppermint oil is chilled, transparent glass-like needle crystals of menthol fall out and settle on the bottom. If cedarwood oil is chilled, then a solid mass of cedrol crystals form. Isolates, selective solvent extraction. By using two solvents that will not mix together, we can introduce an essential oil and the components of the oil will move to the solvent that they can dissolve in. An example of this is the removal of terpenes from citrus oils to produce a more stable concentrated alcohol soluble terpeneless oil for fine perfumery. And a byproduct? the terpenes from the oil for use in cheap household fragrances. For example, two solvents that will not mix together, methanol and pentane, are put into a flask. If we then introduce orange oil to the terpenes, mostly delimonane, which makes up 98% of orange oil, will move into the pentane, and the remaining components, including the really strong orange aldehydes, dissolve in the methanol. All that needs to be done then is to separate the two mixtures. From the pentane and terpenes mixture, allow the pentane to evaporate to leave delimonane. From the methanol and orange aldehydes, evaporate off the methanol to leave a terpenless orange oil.
aroma chemicals. In the mid-1800s, alchemists and chemists started finding ways of separating raw materials from nature, like fractional distillation, and then altering them using acids, alkalis, and heat processes. This led to the new chemical industries, and reproducing chemicals that occur in nature by chemical reactions, plus creating new chemical structures that the Earth had never seen. The modern perfume molecule chemists use starting materials from nature primarily from two sources. Aroma chemicals from crude oil. Examples of the starting materials. Benzene is used to produce benzyl alcohol, a nature identical solvent. Nature identical, meaning that the same material occurs naturally, for example, in plants or essential oils. For example, phenyl ethyl alcohol, a nature identical component of the rose absolute. From toluene, benzyl acetate, found in jasmine. From naphthalene, methyl anthranilate, found in most white flowers like tuberose, gardenia. From phenol, eugenol, found in cloves. From xylene, musketone, this one is completely synthetic, and many thousands more. Aroma chemicals from isolates of essential oils. Pinene used to be fractionally distilled from pine and cedarwood essential oils, but nowadays is mostly recovered from paper plants when the wood pulp is boiled to soften it ready for paper making. The boiling of the pulp is effectively a distillation process, so the effluent now instead of being released as pollution is recovered with extractor hoods over the vats and the essential oil recovered. The pinene is fractionally distilled from the recovered oil and then used through many steps of chemical reactions to produce materials such as linalool, nature identical, occurs in linalool berries and many other oils. Linalil acetate, nature identical geraniol, citronellol. Isolates, fractionally distilled from other essential oils, sometimes used as starting materials, intermediates. Limonene from citrus oils, linalool from hoe oil, citronellol from citronella oil for the production of hydroxycitronellol. Citral from lemongrass or litsi cubiba oils for the production of ionanones. Vetiverol from vetiver oil for the production of vetiverol acetate. Cedrol from cedarwood oils for the production of cedrumba. Speciality bases. The perfumer also uses speciality bases for commonly used notes, like reproductions of expensive oils such as jasmine absolute, rose otto, geranium oil, bergamot oil, sandalwood oil, tube rose. For notes that cannot be consistently commercially produced from nature, gardenia, sweet pea, lily of the valley, Muguet in French, honeysuckle. Speciality bases will also be prepared for special effects. Green top notes, 
fruit notes for which no natural fragrant oil or extract exists like strawberry, apple, banana, mango. Also for offering new unique captive naturals or aroma chemicals in blends to perfumers from companies that hold exclusive rights on their uses. Agarwood Fluorescence, Perfumers World X Factor. These bases can greatly increase the speed of creation of new perfumes, as in the Ice Sniffs set, to meet demands for new and interesting perfumes.